bring your buddy to stand behind us, protect us from any basketballs. <laughs> hey, what happened to you? I broke my collarbone. Oh, that sucks. We're at Sheboygan North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where tonight the Golden Raiders take on Green Bay Notre Dame. Alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. We're being backed up by uh, four of the managers from uh, Green Bay. Make sure we don't get hit by any basketballs. Uh, Chris, uh, North comes in 6-1. Uh, and one. They won their last game against uh, Green Bay Southwest convincingly. Uh, Green Bay Notre Dame comes in uh, five and two, but two and two in conference. North three and one. How do you see things shaking out tonight? Well, it's one of those games where I kind of look at who they played and their opponents, and you know they both have really good records. But you know, just how good are they? That I guess is what we we know. They did a nice thing up in Green Bay. They uh, decided to have like a city classic thing, and Notre Dame took care of both East and West and, and traditional old conference teams, which. If you had it my way, we'd have those teams back in our league. But uh, they did pick up two wins that way. And, you know, Notre Dame is 5-2, and two, but they haven't played any of the big boys yet. For Sheboygan North, they're 6-1. and one. They had a nice uh, weekend with their shootout and stuff, but they played two teams that, that weren't very good. And so, again, kind of where are they? It seems like they've been playing in a lot of their games. And, you know, even the, their only loss this year is to Bayport, who's, who's really a nice basketball team. And if it wasn't for way at the end, maybe they would have gotten that one. Now it's Bayport and DePure are two undefeated teams. They're three and zero. North is three and one, and I think there's maybe two other teams that are three and one. So very top heavy this year. Yeah, I believe I, I agree with you. There is very top heavy, and so I think Sheboygan North is still getting their feel. You know, another thing they've done is they've played basically all their games at home too, and get that home cooking done early. Get those pick up those wins, and you know, seems like. Coach Worth is picking up right where Coach Chesitel is. It doesn't matter who you play. We just keep winning basketball games, and that's something that's been going on in this gym and in the old gym for a number of years. Well, one of the things that North kind of falls back on, and it's been very successful, are fundamentals of the game. Uh, I know Coach Chesitel uh, stressed that a lot, and uh, so does uh, Worth. So, you know, you've got that kind of uh, philosophy and uh, that to back you up. That's a good uh, good recipe for success. Yeah, and they really play scrappy defense. They like, you know, they take advantage. They're not a very big team. We mentioned that all year, but they they play awesome defense. They really need to hustle. They got some shooters out there. They play a variety of kids and things like that. And of course, it all falls you know, on Zach Cosenstein, who's who's a real powerhouse leader. And we've mentioned it before. Who on the court is going to stop him? That's that's always a, a job for the opponents. And you know, I think Zach Cosenstein can take over a game, which which again gives you that you know, superstar in your lineup, which is going to carry you and make you win a lot of basketball games. One of the things, and you see this if you watch uh, Badger basketball, uh, Zach Showalter, kind of like the glue that holds things together, the unsung hero, so to speak. And uh, North has that, and Ethan Sinellis, he's a very good player, doesn't score a lot, you know, but, uh, you know, he's right there getting rebounds and passing the ball and playing really good defense. Right, and three years I think he's been on the varsity too he went to the state tournament last year and I and again I think that's a really good term for him the unsung hero just kind of the quiet guy that does all the little things like that kind of a shy kind of quiet kid as well and he probably his classmates won't probably say that but he is hopefully his teachers say that <laughs> but uh, I think you're right I think that's a, a good way to describe Ethan this analysis Let's talk a little more about the North High program now. The JV's won convincingly. You said the uh, freshman game, North was up big. And, and just in watching the JV game tonight, the kids seem to work together real well, have good fundamentals. And, uh, you know, you build from the bottom up. And if that's the case, North is going to look pretty good over the next couple of years. Yes, and we, well, I've talked to a, a number of uh, coaches and things and teachers here, there's a lot of good athletes in the school, and the basketball t program is really doing well. The JVs have only lost one basketball game, too, and they're a lot like the varsity. They're not very big or, or anything like that, but they're extremely hard workers. They play really good defense. They got a variety of guys that score, and the freshman team, the freshman program is really strong. They got some really good athletes in that freshman class, so things are set here for uh, Coach Worth for years to come, and with his background and experience, I think you it's going to be tough to, to uh, come into this gym and win basketball games. All right, with that, we're going to step out, and we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's basketball game. By the way, got a new member of the crew, he's behind that camera, uh, Greg Zablocki, you want to wish Greg uh, happiness to uh, our little team here. We got the A-team going tonight. We also have a new director, Robert Ingram in the truck. Uh, 
spinning the dials, and uh, I'm sure he'll be doing a good job. So with that, now we'll step out. When we come back, we'll have the tip-off and the starting lineups. spot. You know my motto, safety first. They could be dangerous. I think we should call animal control. Animal control? To be safe. Don't worry. Just... I got this. It's a new motto. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. Throw away money on wasted electricity. You're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. No more energy savers stop. Your fairy godmother? It doesn't take a fairy godmother to tell you that the right fit means everything. Especially when it comes to car seats. Always choose one that's the right fit for your child's age and size. Oh, that does make a difference. Remember, their happily ever afters are in your hands. To find out more, visit safercar.gov. They said a bottle was just a bottle. That no one would ever notice me. But I knew I could be more. That one day, I would make people smile. Food. It nourishes, brings us together, and adds flavor to life. That's why it's important to wash hands, surfaces, and fresh produce. Keep raw meat, poultry, and seafood separate ready-to-eat foods like fruits and vegetables and cook to proper temperatures using a food thermometer. Enjoy and refrigerate leftovers within two hours. For more tips on safely preparing foods, visit Whole Food Safety. Between the Buford Dam Academy Tritons, coached by John Taylor, and the Sheboygan North High Running Raiders, coached by Eric Worth. Here are your starting lineups first for the Tritons from Notre Dame Academy. Number one, Avery Lyons. Number 10, Jackson Strohmeyer. Number 11, Max Lego. Number 13, Reese Johnson. 
from number 20, Matthew Raider. And now the starting lineup for your very own Sheboygan North High Wedding Raiders. Number 11, Ethan Sanellis. Number 21, Jackson Damcott. Number 23, Zach Heisenstein. Number 24, Rick Rill. Number 25, David Sonnentag. The officials for this evening are Steve Steiner, Jeff Bowen, and Russ Miller. These individuals are registered by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association and are assigned by North High School and the Fox River Classic Conference. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of the game. Today's athletic training services provided by Purveyor Sports Medicine of Green Bay in partnership with St. Nicholas, St. Mary, and St. Vincent Hospitals. Tonight's athletic trainer, Mr. Chris Lenz. Purveyor Sports Medicine, expert care for active people. Well, we're ready to get started here tonight. Green Bay Notre Dame comes in five and two, Sheboygan North six and one. Notre Dame coached by John Taylor, North by Eric Wirth, and uh, the Tritons control the tip off, and uh, Hasenstein tips that one out of bounds. That was a lazy pass, Marty. Yeah, you can't do that, especially if you're at the top of the circle. At the that was recipe for break, you know, breakout uh, layups. One-handed throw from the side, especially with the North defense. Good call. Well, they're going to get a walk on uh, Matthew Rader. I want to do a shout out to a couple of the uh, Notre Dame uh, recorders of the game. I guess you might call them Noah Sternig and Howie Gertzner. Uh, helped with uh, pronunciations for us tonight, Chris, uh, so we get the names right for their uh, squad. Three-point attempt gets stuck right inside the uh, crook of the basket and... Uh, shot attempt, Marty, or turnover? <laughs> I would say a shot attempt. But uh, And actually, North is going to get it yeah. out of bounds because it's a jump ball type situation. So... Definitely not a turnover, Chris. Nope. Double screen for Witter, and it rims off, and it tipped out of bounds by Raider. North will keep it. 17-22 left. They play two 18-minute halves. No score. Ozzy gets it pretty deep. He's going to put that shot up and got it to go in. Ozzy averaging over 20 points a game. Talked about him in the opening. Been on the varsity four years, Marty. Yeah, he's a he's a veteran. You might yeah. definitely say that. Really grown. Gave a nice interview the other week too. I also read his comments in an article that the Sheboygan Press had about one of their wins. What do we got here? Russ Miller calling a foul on North, I believe. Foul goes on David Sonnentag. Soklowski in for Sonnentag. He's really, really been a big part of this winning streak. I like him coming off the bench. Looks like uh, North was almost in a zone, but uh, they didn't. Witter, good fight for the ball. North has it. That's one of those 50-50 balls, Chris, that North likes to come up with. Who just scored, Marty? You called it, Chris. You are the man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spark. Boy, a minute and a half, and you got somebody coming in off the bench. Well, nice thing is Hasenstein with a great, uh, great feed. Rebound, putback is up and in by Legal. I don't like that, Marty. Oh, they can't get back. They can't. Where do you think you're, where do you think they? Sokolowski again, Chris? 
Where do you think you're playing, Notre Dame? They don't call them the running Raiders for nothing. Sokolowski's number is not up on the board, Chris. He's got four points. Dribble, 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 and you're not even on top of the basketball. Turnover for uh, the Tritons. They're and third. Checking in for the Triton, Ryan O'Connell. North up six to two. Good feed inside. Reverse layup is good by Witter. North looking sharp so far. Absolutely. It's an 8 2 run. Start off the ball game. Three early turnovers by Notre Dame. Look at that hustle. Hosenstein almost with the steal. Strange week, Marty. They're playing Tuesday, Thursday this week. This is uh, one of the times when I'm not going to complain about the conference schedule because I'll be leaving Friday morning, so I get to do this game with you tonight. Oh, Witter <laughs> fell on top the Notre Dame guy, but because he wasn't shooting, the referees didn't call anything. Uh, they got Sokolowski on the board now, Chris, and his four points. Well, Bill Mr. Wagner, Wagner was yeah. sleeping down there. Must have had a hard day at work. You too? Very hard. <laughs> Damcott going down, kicks it out north with a good ball movement, but Notre Dame covering up the shooters. Sinalis. We're gonna get him for a walk. Couldn't quite get the ball away soon enough. Brian O'Connell showing a good sportsmanship, helping up Ethan. Did I ever tell you that story about uh, the time I umpired Menasha St. Mary's? We had a little break in the action, and I asked one of the kids, I said, they let Lutherans on your team? And the kid said, oh, yeah, anybody who's got money can get in. <laughs> and uh, the one kid said, heck, I don't even believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> Charge goes on Notre Dame. That's going to be on Connor Hennigan. Well, coming into the year, Marty, all the questions about, oh, state team coming back. All you got left is Hosenstein and Sinalis, basically. What are you going to do? Well. They look okay to me. Yep. The numbers are the same. It's just the names that are different, but success is still there. Oop. A foul on the drive in. Damcott got a good whack, but the foul is going to go on Sokolowski. Well, nice quick start by North, but uh, slow down a little bit for him. North bringing in their third big guy. And not that they're real big, but Lorgi, and he's. Uh, and doing a good job off the bench. Doesn't score a whole lot, but uh, does the little things like help out on defense. And if we're going to get Lorgi for that, Chris. Yep. Well, Ben Lorgi's brother played for me. Played Baseball? Ba yep, played second base. Reese Johnson uh, couldn't get that one to drop. That makes it uh, eight to three. Thirteen thirty left. Uh, North had a pretty quick start, Chris. Yep. They haven't scored in a while. 
Oh. Notre Dame. It was good defense. I don't want to take that away from them, but uh, Hasenstein with a real bad pass. Three ball is no good. Hasenstein with the rebound. And North with a bust out. Hazi down the lane, and he scores and is fouled. Notre Dame can't get back. Yeah. I will be honest with you, a little crazy offense on the other end by the Tritons. Brian Seymour in the ball game. He's a valuable member of the team, Chris, a senior coming off the bench. You gotta like that. Ozzie finishes off the three-point play. It's 11-3 North. Dog them all the way down. Yeah, pressure defense. It's all part of that run Raider mantra. Good jump shot in the lane is good by uh, O'Connell. Timeout, Notre Dame. Well, we got a minute. I uh, want to mention the uh, crew tonight. We have Robert Ingram is our uh, director. Richard Bartson running uh, camera number one. That's out on top by us. Greg Zablocki, the new guy on the block, is uh, down on the floor camera. Sergi Molitor is uh, helping with graphics in the truck. And uh, troubleshooting and helping out in the truck also is uh, Eric Wiesman. Pay by play is me, Mike Martin. Color is Chris Wright. Uh, Chris, uh, one thing I heard you mention a couple times is getting back on defense, and that didn't refer to North. Ah, uh, no, Notre Dame. Like I said, got to remember what building you're in. You're in the building of the running Raiders, and they like to run up and down, and they've already played eight guys. Interchangeable parts. They're all pressing the whole way. They're gonna try to wear on you. I don't know. I oh. saw in the paper where North had a very easy time the first game of the Raiders shootout. Yeah. And uh, a lot of eight. unfamiliar names in the article in terms of uh, high scoring for yeah. North. Uh, Worth certainly not uh, bashful about playing those kids that maybe don't play as much yep. in conference games, which I thought was very nice for yep. those kids. North a little disjointed on this offensive possession so far. Notre Dame doing a good job of hounding the Raiders. They search for a shot. Lorgy. Oh, wow. I actually thought he got away with a walk. Wow. But then they get uh, Connor Hennigan for his second fall. Wow. Coming in for North, Quinton Boudoin. Oh, they're calling it Baudouin. No, I, I like the way you pronounce it. I like Boudoin too. Can't stop him. Kick out to uh, Sinellis, his shot uh, is off. Notre Dame seems to run a similar offense to uh, Norris, Chris, in that uh, they try to penetrate and pitch. Legal has it on top. Connell driving to the hoop gets followed by uh, Sinellis. That as a shooting fall, huh? Hmm. He's 50% from the free throw line, Marty. And on that one, he looked less than 50%. Yeah. Talk about bad free throw shooting. You see the Badgers in the first half, one for six. And their free throw shooting, they did shoot better. They ended oh, up like 66% for the I game. I know, but, but it's bad. Yeah. It's kind of Gonna get them this year, gonna get them. They gotta improve. 
Yes, that's the right call. Ball was tipped away from uh, Zach Hosenstein. North will get it. Well, they're going to try to press a pressing team. Hosenstein being pressed by uh, Reese Johnson. Seymour treated that ball like a hot potato, Chris. As soon as he caught it, he let it go. Oh, well, he walked. Yep. Al Steiner got him on that one. Nate Winter, who played a lot last year into the game. Strange 10th guy in. But last year he was like number one or two off the bench. Nice push. Yeah, a little push off by Johnson. And then Johnson just outmuscles the crowd for the ball and finally draws the foul. Pardon me, Max Legal. Too many offensive rebounds, Marty. Bedoin with the uh, foul. Jeez. So far, Notre Dame one for four from the line. Varsity basketball, right? Legal breaks the streak. It's 11 to 6, 10.56 left in uh, the first half. Ozzie with a rainbow three. Ozzie three of four from the floor. Well, oh, that was sweet. Yeah, it was. Watch the next time they'll drive to the basket. That's a walk, trying to step through for was uh, Blackland Johnson and uh, traveled. Rolling down to the 10-20 mark of the first half, North on top, 14 to six. Had a quick start with an 8-2 lead. Their scoring has slowed down a little bit, but... Uh, oh, it looked good. Witter couldn't get to it. Lions did, and then he gets fouled on his way to the hoop and is going to shoot two. Thought that was a good look, Marty. Oh, it definitely was a good Just look. Just a long rebound, which was a tough break for North. There's a good shot of Avery. He'll be shooting uh, a pair. Witter committed the fall. 68% from the free throw line. I was thinking about that going up and down the stairs when I was in high school. That's what I shot about. A 66, 67, somewhere in there. But when it got to the end of the game and they really counted, that was money. Wanted the ball. Not, yeah, yeah. Not bragging. It's fact. <laughs> That's your story from the 60s, folks. Witter shot in the lane, wouldn't go down. Notre Dame drawing a little closer here, Chris. It's 14 to eight. Yeah. They're hanging around and Witter's, Winter, Nate Winter is gonna pick up the foul. Starting, uh, fouls are starting to accumulate from the yeah. people in the white jerseys. With 9.37, they're gonna be going to the line the rest of the half. It's awfully soon to uh, get in the bonus. Notre Dame, on the flip side, only has three team fouls. How about a bonus? Well, well Notre Dame is shooting 15% uh, from the floor. I got them for five turnovers. Haven't hit a three yet. And they're only down by four. 
Well, they, they can't have... make free throws either. No, that's really hurt them. Damcott with a kick out to Witter. His shot is no good. Boudoin with a great rebound. Witter in the lane again got it in. Great work by uh, Boudoin to get him the ball. You got that right. That should be his basket. That's just the second offensive rebound for North. Winton playing a good defense too. Teaming up with Witter. A good back cut. Yeah. Getting under the basket a little too far was uh, Matthew Rader. Damcott with a little dish off to Witter for two. Just a sophomore. Wonderful kid and a really good baseball player, Marty. Teammates are uh, working real hard to get him the ball at uh, opportune times, too. He works real hard on his game. He's one of those gym rats. He's in here all the time working. Oh, great move inside by uh, Matthew Rader. Rader, their second leading scorer. But uh, this is first uh, basket. Ozzy's shot wouldn't go in, but uh, Quinton Boudoin got the offensive board. And Sinellis throws it up there, and the prayer was answered. 20 to 10 north. Just under eight minutes left in the first half. And they back out to that nine point lead. Lions drives to the basket and got it in. Almost a walk, Bedoin goes right down Jeez. Main Street and scores. Read the defense. What defense, Marty? <laughs> Good point. Jeez. <laughs> and Notre Dame loses it out of bounds. Sokolowski in for Hasenstein. Damcott, Sokolowski, Bedoin, Witter, and Sinellis in the ball game for the Raiders. Damcott just outside the line. Couldn't get it to go. Good jump stop and a shot that time by uh, Connor Hannigan. And uh, the Tritons running the break. Still trailed by seven. Witter, Witter bango. It. He's been hot. Three of his last three, Marty. Witter now with nine points, leads all scores. Kick out pass. Rainbow three is no good by Reese Johnson, and then we get an over the back foul on uh, the Tritons. 0 of 8 from 3. For Hannigan picks up his third foul, Chris. <laughs> and uh, he's still out there. It's interesting. I wonder if uh, Coach Taylor recognizes what's going on. <laughs> you don't like that, Chris. You're shaking your head. The fans can't see you shake your head. <laughs> well, that's okay if they don't. Just wonder. Good feed inside, but uh, Sokolowski had it stripped away. Avery Lyons hard to the hoop and scores. Oh, Sinellis throws it in the backcourt and out of bounds. Well, I think he got kind of grabbed on the arm. and A little bit of a rake. Yep, forced it there. Damcott out of the ball game. Bedoin also out of the ball game. Seymour and Hasenstein back in. Six minutes left in the first half. North up eight. Wide open three and no good. Seymour 
was, didn't let it get away. Nice pass to Sokolowski, and the shot is no good. Boy, oh boy. They make those easy ones, eh, Chris? Yep. Quinn Snyder had the open three before, and this time he drives down the lane and does the old spin move and draws the foul. Seymour picks up the foul. You know, Snyder was hardly in a ball game. Chris, and he's taking a shot and drawing a foul <laughs> to shoot two free throws. I like those kind of guys. <laughs> the only thing missing from his game is he's not left-handed. Lorgi and Budoin back in. Snellis and uh, Sokolowski out. Makes one out of two. Two out of two. Yeah, that time they got him on the travel. Oh boy. Seven turnovers now on North. <laughs> Lead still six points. Lions has been uh, pretty good in there. Oh, Shot is up and in by uh, Jackson Strohmeyer, and he's fouled. Got a little too deep, Marty. Say that again. Witter picks up the foul, his uh, second, and we get a timeout. It's a full timeout, Robert. Why don't you go to commercial break? When we come back, we'll have 5.02 left and a free throw for Notre Dame. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at Energy Savers. Got a quarter? Yeah, I'll Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, uh, Notre Dame on a seven-point run so far, Chris. Yeah, kind of surprising. They're doing a lot of damage at the free throw line. They're not shooting very well, but they're getting to the free throw line. Not shooting very well there either. Lurgy comes away with the rebound. Just under five minutes left in the first half. North up by only four now. It was uh, 11. But, uh, like I said Notre Dame's on a seven-point run. Well, Witter's on the bench with two fouls. May not see him the rest of the half. Why don't you get to Lorgie here? O'Connell's got three fouls. Seymour. Get it to go inside the lane. North just under 50% shooting. Oh, boy. Ozzy able to get the ball away from Snyder and then uh, almost threw it away. Seymour to the basket again. Couldn't get it to go. Lorgi on the floor trying to battle for it. And they're going to call a tie-up situation. The arrow points Notre Dame's way. Sinellis back in. Like Chris said, they haven't uh, shot well. Free throw shooting has been marginal at best, probably more towards bad, yet they're only four down, Chris. They're hanging in there.
Shooting now 28%. And uh -huh. they're only down by four. Yeah, it uh, hasn't been pretty, but they're hanging in there. They've missed all nine of their threes. It's kind of weird. I... Legal had his shot blocked, actually, by Boudoin, but he got it back and put it in. That's one thing they've been doing is hitting the offensive board and giving themselves extra opportunities. North's going to have to do a much better job of that in the second half. Get a whistle. Reach. Kind of strange. Oh, finally got O'Connell out of the game, Mark. Or no, Hennigan. Hennigan was so, uh, 14, was the guy. Yeah, finally got him out of the game. <laughs> they had five team fouls. He had three of them, and he was still in the game. Boudoin open. Rims out. Lorgy with a good rebound. Put back. No good. And Avery Lyons had a tip from behind, but they're going to get Lorgie with a foul, and Lyons will be down at the other end. I think he's going to be shooting two, Chris. That was a 10th team foul on North. Hey. This has been... Uh, Tough to watch, Chris, this uh, run by uh, Notre Dame. Down only two, a chance to tie with a couple of free throws. He spent Lord the whole out. half at the free throw line, Marty. You're right. They don't make a lot of baskets, shooting 28%. This is going to be the 17th free throw of the half for them. North has shot one. We're tied at 25. See if 332 Hazi, left. Hazi takes it to the rack here. Kick out Boudoin. North mm -hmm. just 2 of 10 from three point range, too. Uh, no. Oh! Boy, I didn't see that, Chris. I thought he did a nice job of. Uh, I don't think. I. I uh, oh. Okay. 10 for 17, Notre Dame is on their free throw shooting. A chance to take the lead with the, yeah. the clock rolls down Incredible. to the three minute mark. Incredible. Loading it up from three land, but not getting it now was uh, Reese Johnson, but Notre Dame comes away with it. Legal. Threw it inside to uh, Jackson Strohmeyer, and then he got fouled. He'll go to the line and shoot a pair. Well, he had a chance a couple, about a minute ago to uh, shoot a free throw and couldn't make it. Let's see what he does this time. I think North is okay. They just got to weather the small storm here. Well, they have to rebound better, Marty. They're allowing way too many rebounds. Yeah, exactly. And I mentioned, I think right away, beginning of the game, North came away with what I call a 50-50 ball. And uh, since that, uh, it's been pretty much Notre Dame coming away with the rebounds and the 50-50 balls. Yeah, they North, have, a, they have eight offensive rebounds. North's the better team. They look better and everything. They just Right now, there's a little sluggish slump. They'll be all right. So now is just able to uh, avoid getting hit by the ball that was tipped away from him. Just got to weather the storm. Weather the storm. What's the run? 13? I believe so. Ozzy, Rainbow 3 couldn't go. That's the other thing North could do. Uh, yeah, they're uh, 2 of 11 a, from 3. Yeah, he's a little better shooting from the outside. It's all right. Notre Dame hasn't hit one at all. Clank. Lions no good. Sokolowski with a nice strong rebound. They keep throwing them up there though, Marty. They're 0 of 10, I believe. Feet oh. inside, it goes off Sokolowski and uh, Notre Dame's gonna get it right back. Yeah, the three point shooting tonight has not been good from either side. Well, you know North can hit them, so just got to keep putting them up there. I was looking when I did my homework. 
Notre Dame hasn't even made a lot of threes this year. I was looking, one guy's got six, one's got four, one's got, I mean, they don't make a lot of threes, right. period. But yet they keep shooting them. <laughs> That's the way you do it. Well, where North is, you know, they got guys that have well over 10 threes each. Here's another one. Wide open. Clank. And they get the rebound. Again. Legal. Strohmeyer uh, had the ball in the corner, looked open, but uh, passed up the shot. Rolling down, 130 left in the first half. Oh, good give and go. Lions rebound. Our layup is no good. Hasenstein with the rebound, and he gets fouled. But it's only the sixth foul on Notre Dame. Legal Marty has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven offensive rebounds. Seven for number 11, Max Legal. Jeez. Lackland Johnson coming back in, uh, going out as Jackson Strohmeyer. He had a pretty good run the time he was in there. North will be in the bonus next time. Eighth Winter gets it in to Sokolowski. He lays it in. We're tied up. And that breaks a long run, Chris. Hey, tie game. Bad slump. You're all right. Playing at home. Your shots are going to fall. Hasenstein comes over and helps and blocks it. And committing the foul near half court is Max Legal. That'll be his first. Hazi will go to the line. Shooting the one and one. Hazi has seven rebounds in the half. It was a 13 point run for uh, Notre Dame, Chris. Well, hopefully they'll be trailing at half. Yeah. Despite that run. That was Hazi's uh, ninth point. Witter also with nine. Ozzy now with 10 and North with a two point lead with uh, under a minute left. Jeez. Whoa, airmail that pass. <laughs> Would have needed Akeem Elijah on to catch that. <laughs> and he's not in the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else could have caught that one? Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Winter oh, got away with a push off. 24 seconds left. See if uh, North recognizes the situation. Winter with a wild shot. That was a very bad shot at this time of the half. Legal. And they're going to get him for a charge. I know those are tough calls, Chris. But normally you don't get that call unless you're at home. Yep, they've gotten a couple. Coach uh, Worth talking to uh, Nate Winter about that shot and the situation it happened in. Ozzy. Where are we going to get a foul here? Now, I'll tell you, that was not a good move by Hasenstein to stop in the corner like that and then try a little behind the back dribble. And... Surprised by that foul. Yeah. Reese Johnson. That looked his like first. a 50 50 because he got the clean pick. Looked and, like a clean pick. And then the ball was out there and both went for it. Oh. Legal with another rebound. Four seconds. Lions. Charge. I actually like that call better. I thought he yeah. uh, tried to go through the set defender. Two charges and a 50-50 and a ball foul against Notre Dame in the last 10 seconds. 1.7 seconds left. Damn caught. No good. And we're at halftime. Sheboygan North weathering a 13-point run by the Tritons. Leads 29-27. Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please. 
You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... Kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs. Totally. Do you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. Totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys know statistically friendly kids have more friends? Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? The parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child... Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Hey, going out?
out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just... They told me a bottle couldn't dream. That I would never become a superhero. But I learned how to fly. Just to come back in a new disguise. And be the hero that I've always wanted to be. Living near the water, it's a dream come true for many, except when there's flooding or a hurricane. That's why people who live near lakes and rivers, by the ocean and bayside, are working with their local planners to make sure that protection from all sorts of natural disasters is part of the planning process. Learn more at planning.org. That's planning.org. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where the Raiders lead at halftime, 29-27. to 27. It was not a very inspiring first half in terms of shooting by either club, especially from uh, outside the three-point line. Uh, leading the uh, Tritons was uh, Avery Lyons with nine points. Leading North was Zach Hosenstein with ten. Brett Witter also had nine. Chris... Uh, Talking about the shooting and some of the things that went on in that first half, what do you have? Shooting is correct. Well, they shot, they didn't make. Ma make a lot, <laughs> yeah. Well, North is shooting up 46% from the floor, which uh, they're 12 of 26. But Green Bay, Notre Dame, just 8 of 26 from the floor. Uh, both teams have combined to put up 22 three-pointers. North's got two of them in the bucket. Notre Dame has none. And uh, not a great basketball half. Nine turnovers on each side. Um, I don't know. Uh, Rebounding, you mentioned something about Ooh. legal getting a 
for uh, Notre Dame he, having a... He has seven offensive rebounds, nine offensive rebounds total for Notre Dame. That's what kept him in the game, Marty, that and getting to the free throw line. I was uh, hopeful as I watched the uh, first part of the game in terms of North and uh, getting uh, loose balls, but uh, that certainly didn't develop as the first half moved along. Uh, Notre Dame to uh, be a little more scrappy than the Raiders, which uh, you had mentioned in the opening. That's what North is noted for. Yeah, they uh, and they got out to such a nice start, getting out and running. And yeah, eight-two run first first part of the game. Yep, and uh, but uh, crazy half, but. Uh, Sometimes you just got to grind it out. That's what I said. They'll be fine. They just had to weather that storm. Things just weren't going well for North. Uh, Witter got in a foul trouble. He was hot. Sonnenteg started the game, uh, went out early, and uh, he's back in starting the half. Jackson Damcott puts up a now Jackson, funny looking shot. Yeah, well he was 0 for 3, missed all his trees. Get a little closer, you put it in the basket. There's Hustle by Witter. Witter with a good read on the inside pass. Tenth turnover on Notre Dame. Defense can win you games. Ozzy with a rainbow three, couldn't get it to go. Great block out inside by Matt Raider. I don't know what's going on here. Damcott uh, scrapping for the ball, and apparently what Legal did was stepped on the line and didn't reestablish in bounds when he got the loose ball. So again, good hustle by North. Witter straight on, no good. Sinalis with the offensive board. That was a good look by Brent. Ozenstein looking, pumping, jump shot in the lane, crawls in. Best player on the floor by far. He has 12 points, four point lead, six point lead for North. Good help. Leal had the ball tipped away from him by uh, Damcott. Got to read the eyes, Ozzy. Could have had that one. North with that six-point lead after they fell behind by two. A good pick and roll, and the Raider breaks the North run with a layup. That was an excuse me. Uh, didn't quite sure that uh, Jackson was going to leave there. That's. You know, there's nothing you can do about that. You mentioned uh, nine North High turnovers in the first half. Yep. What did what did uh, Notre Dame have for turnovers? Nine. Okay, so that was a wash there. That's why I said it wasn't uh, the best of basketball. Notre Dame shot 19 first half free throws, made 12 of them. Jeez. North was uh, three for four. Raider muscling his way in again. 33-31. Triton's hanging around. Ozzy with a little crossover down the lane, couldn't get it. Muscles his way up, oh, no call. call. But North keeps it until, uh, oh, Lions almost threw it away. Witter on a reverse layup. Kind of lost it on the way up, Chris, I think, and uh, couldn't get the uh, shot to go. Sonatag played a minute and a half in that first half. A little bit more time here for him, and good hustle by him there. Ran that play before. Right, uh, Notre Dame did a better job of fighting through the double. Notre Dame playing pretty good defense, Chris, not allowing North an open shot. Uh-oh, he Damcott walks, walks, spun. Walked. Couldn't get the shot in, under pressure again.
Where are you going? <laughs> Plank. Three ball, not even close. Witter with a save. Good job by uh, Brent. And uh, North throws it away. <laughs> and Notre Dame throws it away. Damcott. Oh, he had the layup, Chris. He should have just taken it. He tried to feed it off to Sonnetag, who did not have a good shot, but does draw the foul. Whoa. <laughs> okay, who do you look like on that free throw? Shaq. I was thinking Ethan Happ <laughs> for the Badgers. Oh. This one will go in. Oh, will the rim. North just went from 75% free throw shooting to uh, 50. Winner just picked up his third. Yep, and, and it was a good call. Yeah, reaching and, in uh, there. No, I know it was a good call. I was just disappointed that. Yeah, he has right. Because you need hey, him. I, mean, I was going to say you hate to lose his offense. Yeah, you need him, and uh, Zach's going to need some support. Two point game. Under 14 minutes left in the ball game. Avery Lyons jump shot in the lane is good. I don't even think he saw the hoop. He was guarded pretty closely. Ozzy steps outside the line, his three won't go, and the ball goes out of bounds. Think that was a three, Marty? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know for sure. I know he stepped back. I don't know if he cleared the line or not. Okay. Hey, if you don't know for sure, you guess. Learned that when I was umpiring. Jeez. Another turnover by uh, Notre Dame. Seymour has it for the Raiders. Their fourth turnover. In five minutes, uh, we're gonna call Brian here. Seymour is not, not playing under control tonight. Uh, he's getting himself in situations where he can't get rid of the ball. So I was talking about their turnovers. We committed our third of the half. Yeah. In terms of turnovers, uh, seem to go in streaks. Well, Notre Dame has 11 baskets. And 14 turnovers. Yeah, that's not good. Raider, again, does the power dribble and muscles it up and in. He's uh, hard to handle inside tonight for the Raiders. Another turnover. And North throws it away. Notre Dame had the lead in the first half towards the end for a little bit. Connell on a good drive, draws the foul. Ethan Snell is picking it up. This is O'Connell's first trip to the line. Pardon me, his second trip, he was 0 for 2 back early in the first half. Hit that free throw. We got word that uh, South is up eight points at halftime against uh, De Pere at halftime. Matt Horzen uh, giving us that information. He gets that from uh, Aubrey Koistra. He texts back and forth during uh, the games. Twelve twenty-seven left here. Notre Dame up three, 36-33. They've been pesty tonight, to say the least. Uh, Matt Horzen helped us out I a little bit. Just tell them they're wow. up eight at halftime. Wow. That's against the pier, right? Yep. That's a strange team, South. That's a team that 
some nights will, can't beat certain teams, but other nights can knock off the big boys. And they're just only going to get better, I think, as they get healthier. North looking to uh, score some points. It's been uh, tough going here in the first, second half. Well, Hodge has got to find some help. Seymour with a spin move. Prayer was answered. He's one of four tonight, finally got one in. Big one, too, needed it. Break the string of the Tritons. Notre Dame still up, 36-35. North uh, trying to battle back. They got the switch inside, and uh, North can handle Raider inside. They need to... Uh, well, that switch on top, Chris, is causing problems. Well, Green Bay Notre Dame is D3 football runners up, and I think looking at Matthew Rader, he could be on that team. He's I a would, big kid. Uh, <laughs> I would think so. 6 7 junior. Jeez, he's a horse. Looks pretty good at the line, too, Chris. Yeah, I got him for 55% from there, but he looked good on those. Here's Hazi. North moving the ball around, but uh, not finding open shots. Witter tipped it out of bounds, lost it on the dribble, and then tipped it away from the Triton defender, but it went out. Yeah, good decision to get Witter back in the game. I know he has three fouls, but uh, he may not commit anymore. He's a very intelligent player. 11.25 left in the ball game. Notre Dame up three. I they have not hit a three-pointer yet. Hopefully that continues. Uh, I would not uh, have Ethan Sinalis on the bench very long either. You're gonna need him. Oh, there's a lot. Don't, oh, Brent. I thought he got away with the walk, no call. Raider with another basket. He's four of four. North down five. It's their largest deficit. Well. 11 minutes left. There's a lot of banging in there. There was a travel too though. Uh, there's a lot of banging, but I agree with this. Could have been a travel called. Witter on the back cut and then tried to dish it out to uh, Zach Hosenstein, but it got tipped out of bounds. Now it's certain, it's been the defense for Notre Dame. That's what uh, kept them in the game and got them this lead. Ozzie being ridden out of bounds, they're gonna get O'Connell on that. Just second team foul. 10.40 in, three fouls for North, two on Notre Dame. Max Legal back in the game, he's been a force. Yeah, he's been good on the boards, hasn't he? Yeah, and he has five points. He's got nine rebounds. Here we go. Witter, no good. Oh. Didn't even draw a rim right. on that corner I, shot. I thought he had a good look, but it was way long. You're right, Marty. I'll tell you, Notre Dame is uh, feeling their oats, Chris. They're confident. Legal shot. He had a good look at a, yep, there's a break. kiss off the glass, and it wasn't even close. Time for us to convert. Bedoin open, steady takes it to the rack and uh, gets fouled on the drive. They're gonna get Raider on that. That's just one of those bad fouls by Raider there. I mean, Unfortunately, it's only a second. Well, he's gotta know who he's guarding there. And he's got 12 points in the ball game. Q made a good decision to go to the basket. Five second count, another turnover by North. Raider had uh, two points in the first half. Chris, he's got 10 here in the second half. We're uh, at the 10 minute mark. He's been a force inside. 
looking at your stuff, Marty. North was up, what, 25 to 14. Yep, there he had an 11-point lead in they the first half. They only have 35 now. I mean, they have not scored a lot of points in the last 20 minutes. They're up not handling the switch time. up on top either. Oh, boy. Legal got the roll that time. And that's just not North defense. That's not Coast Worst group. That's, that never happens. Bedoin, not bashful, couldn't get it in, but uh, big rebound. Seymour able to tip it out, and North keeps possession. Big, big rebound, second chance. There you go. Oh, Seymour's shot is no good, but uh, the and Tritons tipped it out. Yeah, but another opportunity here. You talked about the uh, poor shooting by uh, the Tritons in the first half. North is having one of those halves right here. Yep. And Witter almost committing another five there second count. Oh, and right. the ball gets tipped away and Notre Dame gets it back. Six Both. turnovers north. Wow. 15 in the game. That's a lot. That's a lot. Notre Dame up seven. 8.50 left. Lions driving and couldn't get it in. He had a great look, yeah, couldn't get the layup to go. Yep, and that's those are breaks, because they've had two good looks. Witter going hard to the hoop, his shot didn't go down. John Taylor telling him to slow it down and run the offense. Now he got Raider on the bench. For Notre Dame. See where they're, they're gonna go here. Time out, Notre Dame. I'll tell you what, uh, what North is having a hard time with, Chris, and they had it on this last possession, except Raider wasn't in the game, Lackland Johnson was. They come up and set that center, comes up and sets a screen at the top, and the guard isn't fighting through, and then they switch. So now the guard has the big guy, right. and he's not defending him inside. Different teams do different things. When I coached, I always wanted to step out and let the guard slide through so we don't have that switch situation. A little more complicated, I made my players do things, but I just never liked that mismatch. You know, you see it in the NBA too. All of a sudden, then you got the smaller player, and North isn't very big in the first place. Right, yeah. But then you get the guard on the 6'4", uh, the 6'7", the six, six, kids. And you have a, a big, a bigger problem. But I always like my guys, especially in high screens, because you're so far from the basket, that my, but my screener guy, my big post player, I had him step backwards, let the guard slide through, and stay with the guard. Well, Raider looks like he's still out of the game, Chris. That's uh, good for North. Uh, what's bad for North is they're down seven, with uh, eight sixteen left, and uh, they need to hit some shots. Chris is busy working on the uh, shooting percentage for North. And, uh, uh, 23%. Yeah. Three of 13. They're almost 50% in the first half. But here in the second half, they've gotten cold. It's not like Notre Dame is lighting up the basketball hoop either. And there's another dumb three by them. Well. They can't. They <laughs> it can't. wouldn't be dumb if it would have went in, but they when you miss that bad, holy cow. Marty, they're 0 for 14. Why would they shoot him? Seymour has a look and gets it away, and he can't get it in. Boudoin is going to get called for the over the back. Notre Dame is 0 of 14 from three. Hosenstein's going to check back in. Coach Worth looking for some firepower and uh, just having a hard time finding it. Good feed inside on the cut through and making the layup was Connor Hennigan. And another big run by the Tritons, Chris. They're up nine. That should not be an over and back. The ball was tipped away from the North player. A 
Coach Worth is asking that same question. Can you ask for help? You know, it's bad enough when you're not playing well, but uh, then when you're unlucky, <laughs> that's a good recipe for defeat. Avery Lyons has it. He's uh, been pretty good tonight. 11 points. Green Bay Notre Middle. Dame is 15 of 24 from two-point range and 0 of 14 from three. Why are they even shooting threes? 62% from inside. Matthew the, Raiders the in the ball game being guarded by Hosenstein, and he's working real hard on him. Yeah, use that athleticism. Good cut through again. A lot of contact. Shot is no good. Oh, I don't know what that was either. Hazy with an open look. Couldn't get it. And Damcott with the foul. Fifth team foul on uh, North. North, two of 17 from three, Marty. Wow. That's just not what we're used to seeing. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, they have 10 points, Marty, in about. I mean, that was 10 minute mark when they had 25. I mean, you're talking. Well, that time North, Annette, you did, probably didn't notice that, Chris, oh, but yeah. that time North did not switch, but uh, Damcott was late getting back and another three ball miss by North. Thank goodness Raider tipped it out of bounds. North will get it back. I'm thinking about 22 minutes, they have 10 points. <laughs> That's all North had, because they were up, they had 25 to 14. Yep. And that was halfway through the first half. They only got 35 and we only got six minutes left. A lot of time left though. No time to panic. I mean, it's almost like a regular fourth quarter in the old version. There you go, there you Ozzie go. Ozzie on the drive through draws the fall. He'll be at the line. I, I think like they're to gonna get legal on that. i like to see more of that, Marty. Check that, Reese Johnson. Oh, they got it on the check. Oh. I thought he was shooting. Yeah, so did I. Too bad. Damn there caught being cut off. Witter from the other corner. Bango! Finally, the Raiders score. Oh, boy, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's right back there. You're only down by six. A lot of time, boys. A lot of time. No panic. No panic whatsoever. Raider being guarded by Sinalis, and he turned his head and let Raider go right around him for an easy layup. What was that? Interesting. Seymour with a scoop shot, couldn't get it to go. I don't like that shot, Chris. No. It's worked the offense. Yeah, you have plenty of time. Five and a half minutes, now 519. If I was Notre Nobody's, Dame. are they in a zone here, Chris? Yep. Because nobody's guarding Raider. He's yep. just sitting wide open in the middle. See if Notre Dame can handle it. Notre Dame might be content to just work the ball around the perimeter. Well, they got eight. Five points. minutes left. See if we can get a trap. Big, Legal big on guy. a back cut that scores. Big guy there. Big guy. 48-38. Biggest lead of the night. And North calls a timeout. Chris, what do you think about moving to a zone defense there, that last possession? Oh, I know Notre Dame scored, but... Uh, I like it if you can get your trap, but uh, they didn't get the trap, and then Notre Dame with their six foot seven post player did the right thing, didn't stand around, came up to the high post, which kept at the zone, kind of collapsed toward him. You dump it down to your other big player. Legal is 6'2", but it got a body of about a 6'5 guy and took advantage of it. There you see the guys. Good shot that time by uh, Mr. Zablocki. You have plenty of time, you're down 10. Um, no time to panic, no time to panic. Are the boys below us panicking? <laughs> no. I think they're more worried about playing football games in Wrigley Field. <laughs> there you see Coach Worth uh, 
Hard to find some scoring, Chris. Uh, Seymour is usually pretty good at that, and uh, he's just having a tough night. Well, he's one of seven. Yeah, that's what I mean. Hasenstein, I have five of 12, or excuse me, Witter, five of 12. Hasenstein, I have four of 11. Nobody's making baskets, Marty. No, and you pointed that out when North had an 11-point lead in the first half, and since that time, they've only scored 13 points and over 20 minutes of playing time. Uh -oh. And a steal by Raider. And a spin move. Oh, and he got it in. That should never That's have gone. That's outstanding. That should never have gone. Especially by that big kid. He's got skills. Back cut by Haas. He got away with a walk and put it in. 50 to 40. And a poor, poor, poor choice there. Uh, Notre Dame doesn't have to. Uh, Hasenstein coming out. I don't know if he's hurt or not. Boudoin checking back in. Okay. Might have did something wrong that coach didn't like. and uh, Just make the basket, I think, is what he wanted. You know, I think he tried to maybe flush that one. Just oh. get that basket. He got the basket, though. Bedoyne open from three land. Got it. Hit their last couple threes, cuts it to seven. A lot of time left, four minute mark. No worries, nobody in, uh... there you go. North with a steal, trying to feed it to Witter. Bedoyne got it right back. And they're gonna oh, get a block and foul on Notre Dame's Avery Lions. Oh, oh, oh. man. Bedoyne just ran him over. <laughs> It's only the fourth foul on uh, Notre Dame. Again, a bad turnover by Notre Dame. Bedoin staying in, Seymour coming out this time as uh, Hasenstein comes back in. Hey, you gotta leave the kid in there, right? Don't pull Bedoin out, he just made a three. Hey, a basket here, you're within five with three minutes left. Gotta take advantage of that, that uh, block foul there. Bedoin. Yeah, pass the ball. There's Ethan. Sinalis' oh. shot is no good. Bedoin with the offensive board. Trying to get it over the Witter, but uh, Lions kicked the ball out of bounds. Big offensive rebound. Third chance for North to score. 329 left. It'd be uh, nice to get one here, yeah. Chris. Oh. Cut that lead. Cut it to under two. Hasenstein oh, forces it in and got it to go. Hazi trying to take over. Yep. 45 to 50, down five. Yep. 3.15 left. Nice little run by North in their house. Damcott, uh, not good defense. You don't want to follow a guy 50 feet from the basket. Coach Worth saying the same thing. Be smart. Sixth foul. Team falls this half. Notre Dame has five team falls. 310. A lot of time left. Oh, almost a turnover there. I'd try to get it down to Raider if I was the Tritons. Hosenstein playing a good D there. Little uh, cut to the basket. And he's fouled and makes the layup. Sinell is going to get called for the push. It's okay. It's all right. Still got to make the free throw here. It's only the fifth free throw attempt by uh, Notre Dame this half. Clank. That one's no good. There you go. North down seven, however. Eighth rebound for Hazi. Witter, Witter on a pop out, couldn't get it to go. He's had a tough night shooting the ball. But you know, they're getting a lot Bedoin of rebounds. Bedoin open from the corner. His shot is no good and uh, getting the rebound is legal and uh, he called his name for a lot of rebounds tonight. Boy, they're getting a lot of reloads, which is good, Marty. They just gotta put those in. 
getting uh, the chances. Getting Witter the chances. with the foul, Chris. Now. Still got to make them both or make the first to get the second. He is, though, an 87% free throw shooter. Shows you why right there. Back up to an eight point lead. Running out of time, Chris. Ah, we got time. Fifty-four forty-five. Two thirty left. Dam caught down the lane, was stopped. Bedoin wanted to shoot it but pulled it back. Swing it. Swing it. Get Ozzie in the lane. You're going to get a foul in the lane. Hosenstein will not be shooting, however. They'll be in a bonus next time, Marty. Norris a good free throw shooting team. Sinellis uh, doing the inbound chores. Gets it to Hosenstein. His leap and leaner around and out. Got the rebound. Couldn't get it. And Johnson... Pardon me, Raider just stripped the ball away. He's a big dude in there, Chris. Oh, they have 2.03 left, Notre Dame by nine, and they have the ball. It's a full timeout, Robert, so why don't you take us to break? Totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. This makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfect. Back at North High School's Acuity Fieldhouse with uh, Notre Dame on top. That score on top is now correct. It's 54 to 45, North down nine. 203 left. Chris, other than a defensive stop, what does North need to do? Put the ball in the hoop. I think the idea, too, is keep going to the basket. Don't always rely on that three pointer. I like Hosenstein getting to the basket. Sinal's getting to the basket. Score points is what you're saying. Yeah. Doesn't have to be three balls right. all the time. And well, you're gonna have to get a stop here. We'll see how much time it is. We are under two minutes. North shooting just 26% in the second half. Oh no! Lions <laughs> takes them to the hole and scores. That's exactly what you want North to do, not Notre Dame. Here's Bedoin attacking. Good ball movement. Sinalis's three goes. Might be too little, too late. North only has one timeout. Still a lot of time, minute and a half. Down eight though, Chris. Yep, you have to start falling eventually. Lions pretty content to dribble the ball. There's Legal the loses it, but North loses it right back. Lions with a fake. And he's fouled by Damcott, he'll be shooting two. Had opportunity for the steal there. My brother-in-law would say, those who run fall in holes. I think North was playing too fast, yeah. trying to get that turnover. He's going to have to make two free throws here. What's really been shocking to me, Marty, in the second half is the, the weak side drive layups on the opposite side of the I, I mean, just not what you see from Coach Worst teams all season. I mean, the defense breakdowns, how many layups has Notre Dame gotten um, attacking, and there's no weak side help. It's just surprising tonight. Um. Hosenstein, oh, man. 10th rebound. 
Down nine, minute left. I think North only has one timeout, Marty. Damcott with an open three around and down. North with a timeout. 57-51, North still down six. Sergi, get off your phone, it's 51. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I think that's their last time out. I'm not sure, but uh, that cuts the deficit down to six right away. It's manageable, and there still is a minute lot of one. Time. There's lots of time. A minute is a long time. One thing, and I, I'm, I'm positive you'll agree with me, is a three-point shot has revolutionized the game oh, yeah. in that term in yeah. those respects. Yep. Plenty of time. There's plenty of time. Jim, plenty of time. Especially how quickly Hazi can get up the floor, too, even if you foul Notre Dame. You know, and they, they miss it. They are now in double bonus, but if they miss one or two, I mean, you can get down the floor in about four or five seconds. I mean, there's still plenty of possessions, and Notre Dame's going to have to make some free throws great and shot take of care the, of the ball. Yeah, great shot of the North bench there and there. Greg Zablocki, Richard Bartson giving you that shot. It's Sergi Molitor running graphics in the truck. Robert Ingram, our director. Chris Wright, and I'm Mike Martin. And we've got the troubleshooter guy, Eric Wiesman. And he's doing a great job. Everything's working. Seven turnovers in the half for Notre Dame. Except North shooting. <laughs> well, they've been hot lately, Marty. No, I'm talking about troubleshooting. <laughs> oh. Eric's got all the equipment working, but North shooting isn't good. Oh, there's a. Yeah, Ray. They're trying to foul. Got to call that. Well, what's weird is, you know, you know the situation as officials. They're coming at them. Yeah. Hasenstein, and it's a double bonus time here, Chris. 66% from the free throw line, but it gets tougher under a minute. What I'm telling you, gets tougher. Oh my gosh, I missed that last one. Oh, this is going to be harder. Boudoin, we need a good block out on Raider. Don't let him get the rebound. Doink. Damcott goes high for the board, and uh, two misses by uh, the Tritons is huge. Knew right good. where Sinalis was, Mark. Yeah, and it was good cover up defense by O'Connell. Boudoin oh. missed the layup. Cupped it in his hand and couldn't get it out, and just missed it. And they're going to get Seymour with a foul. He took it right away from uh, Lachlan Johnson. And uh, Lachlan's going to be shooting free throws. That one hurt, too. Oh, that was a bucket, 30, Marty. 33 seconds left. That was a bucket, Marty. That was. Yeah, that would have cut it down to uh, four, five. Four. Or four, you're yeah, right. Yeah, four. And it gets tough at the free throw line. That's four straight misses for uh, Notre Dame at the free throw line. 26, 28 seconds of runoff, and the score hasn't changed. Ah. What'd you say that for, Chris? Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Oh, interesting. I would have Hazi. Uh, Getting the ball, got to get Hazi the ball. Sinellis, deep, couldn't get it. Raider with the rebound. He doesn't want to give it up. 20 seconds left. Avery Lyons finally gets fouled by uh, Quinton Boudoin. Come on, guys, have a little more faith than that. All right. Now I'm concerned, Mark. 17.6 seconds left, and they're down seven. And uh, Notre Dame's Avery Lyons will be at the line shooting two. He's been pretty good tonight. Matthew Rader, six of eight from the floor in the second half, Marty. He's got six rebounds in the second half. First half, no rebounds, two shot attempts, made one of them. Seven for nine. He's a six-seven force, and when you got a small team like North playing against a big guy like that, that's have a little bit of trouble. No free throws, Chris. So just went out of bounds. 
And uh, Notre Dame calling a timeout, sensing a turnover. 17.6 seconds left. I think they have one. I think North's out. 58-51. That's uh, not a good thing for North because let's get some business out of the way here. Our next basketball game on WSCS will be Saturday, January 7th. That's a makeup from uh, December 16th. Green Bay Southwest will be at South. That's a one o'clock game. The big one coming up for us, however, is the next Saturday, January 14th, when uh, North travels to the South Side for uh, the North South game. Girls game will start at 6 p.m. Boys to follow. Uh, back to this game, Chris. It's a uh, stunner. Yeah, yeah, very much. Sometimes the better team doesn't win. And I think North is the better team, but not at this juncture gonna happen. Raider gets it and just Can hangs on to it. To foul. It'll Sometimes be Raider the at the line. Teams don't win. And yep, you're right there, that's for sure. Uh, I don't want to take credit away from Notre Dame because uh, I thought their defense tonight was uh, really good. But uh, sometimes when the better team comes in thinking they're the better team, that's going to create problems. And I don't know if that's what happened tonight with North, but uh, Notre Dame's defense definitely was very good. Raiders been money at the line, Chris. He's three for three. North four of 14. It worked. For three, two, and two, <laughs> yep. You gotta get it up quick. Damn caught. Bango! Might be too late, however. I didn't know it. Okay. I didn't know they had one yet. Damn caught with a three. Last uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six out of the last seven baskets by North have been three pointers, Chris. Uh, it yeah. sounds impressive, but. Uh, they didn't hit them in the last minute and a half. Yeah. I mean, before that. I mean, how many did you say they made? Four, right? I got six. No, no, how many did they make at the end here? Their last how many baskets were threes? Three of the last three were, and six of the last seven. They had a two-pointer in there by uh, Hosenstein. I believe it was that shot in the lane. But uh, it was Witter, Hosenstein, Boudoin. Then Hazi made a two. And then Sinellis. Damcott with the last two. Legal gets it in. And Seymour commits the foul on O'Connell. Mixed results at the free throw line down the stretch for Notre Dame. They had four misses in a row, then made two before they had a miss, and now they've got another make, and that gives them a six-point lead. And uh, that should pretty much do it, Chris. Yep. Just 33% shooting for North here in the second half. Seymour, rainbow three is no good, wow. and that'll do it. Stutter. Huge upset here at North High School. Green Bay, Notre Dame 61, Sheboygan North 54. Uh, Chris, tough loss. It is a tough loss. And uh, like I said before, I was surprised a little bit about how Notre Dame attacked the weak side and uh, got those opportunities. And North just cold shooting in that second half. And actually, second half of the first half on until the very end here cost them. All right. Uh, in earlier action, North freshman team won big. The JV team won big. Uh, North Varsity, however, couldn't complete the sweep. They lose 61 to 54. Uh, our next basketball game will be Saturday, January 7th at South High School. It's a one o'clock start. We look forward to uh, seeing you there. And uh, for the crew, along with my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road.